April Fools, everyone. The Sharks lose. Eric Carlson was a minus 90, and Noah Gregor can't even hit the net. April Fools. No, really. Can you, can you, you will not believe this game. And if you're on Team Tank, you are crying so badly that we're going to just end a drought. Right now, here on Teal Town After Dark. Good evening, everyone. It is April 1st, 2023, and no joking matter, the San Jose Sharks go into Mullet Arena, clip it down into a nice bowl cut, and they take care of the Desert Dogs and muzzle them 7-2. to two. That's right. They put a whooping on those Desert Dogs. Welcome to this edition of Teal Town After Dark. This is your live interactive Sharks post game. We do this after every game. So if you're new to this show or can't believe you're hearing this, uh, chat with us and fellow Sharks fans all over Sharks territory and around the world on the YouTube page and the app. And of course, follow us on the social Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, Reddit, Discord, TikTok. Find everything at TealTownUSA.com. Of course, you can support the podcast on Venmo at TealTownUSA, or you can hit us up on the Super Chat. Uh, and we welcome those of you watching us on Twitter and Twitch. Make sure you follow us on both to get the latest on this game and more. And with that, um, I am Eric. I am at PuckGuy14. I'm with the Jules. Um, Jules, totally, totally what we expected in this game tonight. Yeah, I definitely saw <laughs> Eric Carlson <laughs> hitting 95 points and a Noah Gregor hat trick. You know, I woke up this morning. I was like, Noah Gregor is getting a hat trick. I, I, I guess every time I'm on the show, that man's just going to keep scoring goals. Um, the Sharks are uh, have not lost the game since I joined. So, you know, <laughs> might be the curse here that not, doesn't get us bedard. Uh, can we get it's all your fault, Jules, in the yeah, chat? Yeah, no, it really is. It really is. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my God. I mean, but like we were talking during intermission, it's like, Enjoy it, folks. This is probably the last time the Sharks will win a game. A hundred percent. This is the last win. If they win another game, I am very concerned for this team. Um, and I mean that in like not getting one of the top centers in the next draft. Oh, yeah. Uh, God. Sharks hockey, baby. Sharks hockey. Yeah. We just don't know. Uh, if you steal that slogan, if Sharks... I, I expect royalties this time. Uh, hashtag teal together. All right. Um, so let's break this one down, Jules. I mean, this is just crazy, especially since the Coyotes are 11-5-2, and two, entering tonight in their last 18 home games. They've made it a tough building to play in. Somehow. And, and, I don't know how they did that, but, you know. You know. And the Sharks in search of their second three-game winning streak of the season. They had one in November, right before Thanksgiving, where they beat Dallas, Minnesota, and Vegas. Yes, playoff teams. You know, Capo Kakinen comes into the game five and zero against the Desert Dogs. You know, it's like, um, and so things get going. Like what, ninety seconds into the game, Noah Gregor decides, "Hey, I feel like putting it on net tonight," and scores. It was quite the shot. Also, I had to rewatch that. I was like, "Was that Gregor or is that Gushin?" We'll get to him in a second. But was that Gregor or was that Gushin? That was quite the. Suddenly, Noah Gregor decided to shoot and not miss, and I am not upset about it. No. Like, oh my, Gregor, what a shot, man. Use it more often. Just not this season. Just stop, and then you can resume <laughs> next season. We can score goals next season. Let's just lose the rest of the season, please. Yeah. It's just, you know. <laughs> no, yeah. To, made it one nothing. Sturm on the assist for that one. Uh, the Sharks would get a power play because Dopefin decided he wanted to play flag football or just wanted to. <laughs> feel the the you know there are waves in the in the new sharks evolved jersey no yeah, yeah, yeah he just yeah. wanted to feel it you know or just yeah. want to try to get the hands literally on hugging it. carlson i think from behind it was quite the hold 
he must um, be a game worn jersey collector like yours. Truly, no, absolutely. So. I mean, the jerseys, the jersey combinations like was slay. It was so good. I loved it. The Arizona ones are so good. The Sharks whites are pristine. Yes. Such a good combo. They, Such they, a good combo. they definitely use the Tide Pods for sure. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. 100 percent. Jacob Peterson would get uh, his first goal as a Shark. Uh, from Couture and Carlson for that one. That's Carlson's 70th assist on the campaign. Um, Jacob Peterson, people need to get more hype around this kid. This kid has a shot and can play. He is going to be a steal. I know everyone loves Scott Rady. I love Scott Rady, the handsome man, according to Locked on Sharks. But that man is a steal with it. Be excited for uh, Peterson. He's going to be a player for the Sharks. Oh, it was a sweet one-timer that made it 2 nothing there. And then about 13 minutes in, Chris Cuolo gets a steal. Feel good story right oh, there. Oh, a sweet shot too to make it three <laughs> nothing. Um, you know, yeah, you're if you're part of Team Tank, you're like, holy, f- <laughs> what are you doing? But no, yeah, yeah. but yeah, Jules, that was a no, sweet that was- shot. That was a sweet shot and also just a feel good story. Even people on Team Tank, I mean, the guy's like, what, 31? I think he's the 30. second oldest player on the Sharks to get a, his first goal. <laughs> like, as a 30 year old, like, be happy for the guy. Like, they're not going to be winning that many more games. I said this last pod. I yeah. really don't think they're beating Colorado. Um, my cousin's going to enjoy that too much as them getting whipped up and down the ice by uh, Colorado. But, you know, just it's a feel good story. Yeah. Uh, I mean that that made it three nothing. Yes, Arizona would get one back on the power play with Moser late in the period to make it three one. But I mean overall, first twenty minutes the Sharks, even though they barely outshoot the the Desert Dogs thirteen to ten, looked really solid and and yep. I thought they already had this game in hand. I mean I was waiting for them to blow the three one lead just because Sharks. I was wrong because I was not expecting everyone to suddenly blow up and explode. But, you know, I was still expecting them to blow the lead at this point in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Sharks hockey. <laughs> Sharks hockey. You have to blow it. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, there's another there's another, you know, promo line. We, blow the number one overall pick, Sharks. Come on. Yeah. T- You're doing great at it right now. <sighs> yeah. We're. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, Connor Bedard. Bedard you, I hope I hope you enjoy Disneyland. All right. Yeah. Um, Sharks will get a power play early on in the second, and then Daniil Gushin, because oh. yeah, this that a- he he got he has a shot, and it is going to be lethal. Him and um, I just can't wait for Boards to start dishing to him when he becomes the two C, and just see Boards and Gushin lighting up the league. They are going to go on a revenge tour, and I cannot wait. Yes, uh, it's going to be something else. I, I really liked Gushin. The freaking guy had a hat trick in the final preseason game. Yeah. He doesn't even get invited to go to Prague uh, for the Global Series. Gets I mean, shot off. Chris Golo said it in like one of his like pressers before the game. Like The guy's a game changer. I think the Sharks got a really large steal here. Like uh, I think they dropped him in the third round, but like such a steal. He's going oh, yeah. to good sharks player for a year he's going to get into the sharps sharks top six when they're actually good again yeah and you know it, it's just absolutely beautiful that makes it uh 4-1 arizona would end up getting into some penalty trouble um you know it's just it, creating this all around <laughs> but then third period they you know as as daniel would say why not just go and get some wait you're not that loud, Steve. What did you say? Why not? Go get more goals in the third period. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Noah Gregor, <laughs> his second goal of the game, second time assisted from Sturm, you know, makes it 5-1. Uh, then the Sharks get another power play because, you know. Of course. It, it's like. Power plays galore. It's like Oprah. You get a power play. You get a power. Play. Everybody gets a power Everyone, play. Everyone, you know. You know. Uh, oh, yeah. granted. It's like you get your first goal as a shark. You get your you first initial goal. goal. Everybody, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Uh, Couture gets a nice feed from Hurdle and EK sixty five to make it six one. I mean, wide open. 
at that point I was just laughing. I was like, okay, the sharks are winning. I was more at that point laughing of the EK sixty five stats I started seeing on Twitter. Oh, we will get to those. We'll get but to those. Buckle up. So yeah. Fasten your seatbelts. And and some of the ones I wasn't even thinking were possible. Um, you know, and then Noah Gregor with a sweet shot to complete the hat trick. Uh, although I think LeBeck was offside oh, on that I one. I looked at it and thought it was going to get called back because I saw a slow mo replay of it. I was like, that looks offside. He had possession. Like he didn't. Yeah, I thought that was going to get called back. And I think um, I was listening to the audio and I think Brett was like, they're not going to win that challenge. And I was like, they might. It looks offsides. But what is offsides anymore in the NHL? Yeah, that's true. So there you go. There's that. Uh, so oh. he completes the hat trick. LeBanc and Carlson on that. So Carlson gets four points on the night. Jesus. We are just oozing to talk about Carlson. So get <laughs> just let us get to that in just a second. But Kellerman, let's give stick taps to the kid for Arizona. He gets his first NHL goal. So three people with their first NHL goal in the same game. That's got to be close to a record. Probably yeah. some record. I, I, probably com- somewhere on Twitter. Yeah. So Uncle Darren Stevens is probably checking out on that one right now as we speak. So the Sharks win 7-2. Jesus Christ. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know where. This team drives me crazy. Like, the thing is, when you give Hurdle and Couture, Couture actual young guys that can have skill to play with, they look amazing. Like, you, Couture now has Bordalo. Hurdle now has Gushin. Um, I'd die to see a line of Eklund, Hurdle, and Goosh, but that's unfortunately never going to happen right now. But, you know, you give these, like, older veterans actual skilled players and not Nick Bonino, they will do damage. And that's what we're seeing here. <laughs> yeah, they they will do something else. And, you know, stick taps to them all around. I mean, there is the prize at hand, which is slowly, slowly... This doesn't move them in the tankathon. So if, if they were to win any game in this type of fashion, I'd rather it be this one. Um, th- th- they are probably not going to win any more games. So relish the moment. Carlson's probably going to hit 100 points, though. But yeah. like, relish the moment. This might be the last victory of the season. I'm hoping it's the last victory of the season. Um, <laughs> we do, you know, I just thought of we do go to Winnipeg one more time. Oh, God what? damn it. Okay, Winnipeg win a game then. <laughs> Jesus. I'm tired of y'all. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll go through some of these uh, Carlson sets. He's at 95 points on the year. Uh, I believe it's 72 assists. Most yeah. by, I mean, those two alone, most by an NHL defenseman over the age of 32. That's shockingly not even the craziest stat we have. No, no. Not even close. Like, you think that's crazy. Wait, there's more. <laughs> we have more coming. All right. Uh, he is. He has assisted on goals from 20 different Sharks this season. The NHL record <laughs> is 21. All he needs to do is just find Chris Quolo. Maybe find me a Bordalo. Find Bordalo. Oh, like that would put the cherry on top for this season. Right. I mean, there, there's so uh, it's the records held by Ray Bork. I believe it was ninety one, ninety two with the Boston Bruins with twenty one. So he is close. There, so, there is an actual possibility this could happen. So if Carlson doesn't win the Norris, how much of just like chaos is going to explode because <laughs> like he has to win it now like i know the sharks are out of the playoffs but like we haven't even gotten to the crazy stats yet and i'm here sitting thinking to myself he's gotta win it like you break this many records you are on a horrible team that gives you no weapons and only at the end of the year do they actually give you some weapons um nothing of against like the sharks early on but they didn't try yeah to, you know like he has to be it, it for the norris he has to be, and if he wins, if he gets to a hundred, it's got to be a lock, right? No, it's, it's... I mean, I think I don't know how you don't give it to him. Like Yossi, I know last year was on pace for a hundred and missed it. He was at ninety four, ninety five. Carlson just passed him tonight, in less in like with nine, eight games to spare, yes. right? Like so, like yeah. there's six left now. Six left. My bad. Time, not a thing. All good. All good. That's. That's what we're here for, to help each other out. Uh, you know, I'm like Eric Carlson. I'll assist you on something, you know. <laughs> 72 assists. Jeez. I mean, it's, it's the m- most assists f- 
buy a shark since Jumbo had like a ridiculous amount in 06, 07. Um, the funny thing is, is Eric Carlson has 70 points even strength. 70. I think McDavid doesn't even have that many. And McDavid is at like 130 right now points. He's on a different planet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Cooper in the chat. We got to get this super chat really quick. Then we'll finish. We'll continue on. Nick Cooper, $5 super chat. Of course, super chat donations go support the show and the website and everything. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> Nick saying bad sign for that Yotes rookie tender. If Gregory is finding the net. <laughs> oh, he had a rough, he was three and oh coming into this game. So I was fully expecting the sharks to get shut out when I heard that from Dan. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. that's something else. To, to Let Noah so. Gregor get a hat trick. Your NHL career is over as a goaltender, uh, buddy. Right. Unless Noah Gregor suddenly like wins the heart next or wins the like art, and he's not going to. Yeah. Like, uh, no. can you want to continue on with the oh, other? Oh, should I continue with that? Yes. The, so a def, uh, from Corey, uh, a defenseman has scored four plus points in an NHL game twenty one times in 2022-2023. Here's the leader leaderboard. Eric Carlson has five of them. The others have one. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the middle. Right. Yeah, so yeah, if you want more uh, EK stats, just go to Brett and Corey's Twitter. They are they have some k- crazy ones. I mean, That's... dude has five four point night games. Like Jesus. Yeah, his tenth career four point game, uh, and five of them were this season. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Heck. <laughs> You know, the the crappy Sharks power play, which entered 28th in the league, went three for six tonight. Or no, yeah. I take it back. Three for seven? Wait, three for six. Because they had, that late, they had that late penalty, too. Yeah, yeah, three for seven tonight on the power play. Obviously, the Desert Dogs were undisciplined. Um, they need to go back to PetSmart and go finish training school. Um, that team. I looked at their roster, and I could not recognize half the players. They they traded a lot of them away. Bukes. To be fair, you can probably say this say the same thing about the Sharks right now. Like, if there's any Yotes fans watching, like I get it, trust me. But like, oh my god, look, you guys have Logan Cooley coming. You're chill, but like, you know, yeah, it, it, it's something else. And that one. So the Sharks win this one seven to two over the Desert Dogs. Let's get to some of your comments in the chat right now. Uh, Birch 7F91. Hopefully, we we'll, got it out of our system and don't get any points the rest of the year. And it still might not be enough the way the Blue Jackets and Blackhawks are tanking. Uh, I mean, you never know. Someone can go on a hot streak. I mean, look at the Sharks. And also, statistically speaking, you're bound to win some games. So, like, just like enjoy this chaos by Eric Carlson and then just hope we don't win for the rest of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Just pray. Uh, Jim and FLA can't believe the Sharks are blowing the chance of Bedard to be a terrible for the next five years. But they're not. The players are not going to tank right now. They, no they, team is trying to tank. Yeah. Like none of the players are out there being like, we want to lose. It's just GMs build their roster in order to lose. The players will never come out and say we're tanking. Yeah. The uh, John Swenson Sharks are still going to. Go on a run and make the playoffs. Yeah, they, they're, yeah, they're they're, 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 they're on eliminated. pace for that, right? You know, uh, if the season started three games ago, they're three and zero. We're right on pace for playoffs. Right, Steve Rector. These wins might haunt us for years. Ugh, at least a top ten pick still brings a great a prospect, but shit. I, I mean, my hope is they just land one of the top centers. So give either Carlson, Fantilli, or Bedard. Of course, we all want Bedard, but. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Carl, uh, Carlson and Fantilli are elite. They're going to be a franchise. They're going to be rock solid centermen for your team. Yeah. And we welcome those of you who don't want to watch the replay of the A's and angels. Trust me. It was ugly over there uh, today at the Coliseum. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, continuing on to the chat, you know, uh, Let's see. Uh, if Felix on Twitch, how did I summarize tonight's game? You get a first NHL goal. You get a first NHL goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy on that I mean, for sure. Whoever wanted a first NHL goal could get a first NHL goal. Yeah. Like, you know. No, completely agree. And, and let's be honest here. Triple G, you're, you're, you're 
kind of hitting on the head a little bit. The youth is looking good also. This is your future, and they've looked good this past week. No, yeah. I mean, that's the bright side. Like, even though we might be slipping out our chances for Bedard, look at Gushin, look at, like, Bordalo, look at Eklund. Like, this past week, they've all been lethal. And they're the ones making a difference tonight. Like, a lot of the goals... Okay, maybe not Gregor's hat trick, because I really did not account for that. But, like, you got <laughs> goals from a lot of CUDA players who, like... The CUDA are, have, like... We'll get to this. I don't know who the hell the CUDA iced this morning. <laughs> They had nine defenses. Well, yeah. <laughs> so there, a lot of the youth are like making the difference right now for the Sharks and are the reason they're winning games. Like, Get excited for the future. I know we all want Bedard and all, but we have a very solid future right now. Right. Uh, you know, and continuing on they, with Triple G 0806, uh, they've also got Colorado twice, Edmonton twice, Calgary and Winnipeg left. So there might not be much more. Winning after tonight. Yep, absolutely. Uh, maybe Winnipeg, but that's maybe, about it. Yeah, maybe Winnipeg. Who knows? Maybe Calgary, too. Uh, you know. Huberto, get a hat trick, please. <laughs> Where has that guy been all year, right? <laughs> non existent. Right. Uh, uh, Jack Olson Carlson is a magic fairy. Uh, <laughs> He'll get back to normal next year. Yes. Trust me. Next year, we, we won't be talking about this like Carlson. <laughs> Sleepy Mofo uh, Smith is the best U.S. prospect in the draft in some projections. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you lose out on a Fantilli, you land a like Will Smith or um, I'm blanking on the other guy's name, but he was compared to Braden Point. And who doesn't want Braden uh, Point? Oh, not Carlson. Um, uh, it was Benson. Benson. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And and, and Joshua Zalk is saying. Remember, everyone, lottery odds are not guaranteed. Relax. Yeah. I mean, the first overall pick just gives you a 25%. And yes, that's a very big percentage. But the lottery can go either way. We've seen teams move up. We've seen teams move down. So it just gives you a higher chance. It doesn't define anything. And the Sharks are going to have a chance at Bedard. It's just a matter of the percentage. Right. And Will Smith is going to Boston College as well, for sure, on that one. A uh, funny story that Randy mentioned on the broadcast about Daniil Gushin. He had contacted his dad in Russia saying, hey, I'm going to play tonight. Mm -hmm. He is dad. He tells his dad or I think it was his dad said he wasn't going to tell the family. They're just going to watch the game. Oh, oh, my God. What? That... A game. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I can imagine. Oh, yeah. What a game. Like. I think AJ tweeted out, like, I think Gushin expected the NHL to be a lot bigger <laughs> than it actually is. You open your, like, NHL debut in, like, a mullet arena with, like, 5,000 college uh, students there. Yeah, on, on like, college night there, for sure. On college night there, Which yeah. seems like it'd be a college night for all of them, you know. Yeah, no, uh, for sure. That's, like, what the CUDA have. Yeah. But uh, Sharks win 7-2. to two. Over the Desert Dogs, it's just a crazy game. Carlson now five away Jesus. from 100 he, he's points. He's hitting 100. Like, we can't lie. He's hitting 100. He's going to have another monster night. He's just going to decide. Like, Carlson is not asking. He's just deciding at this point. And, and my question is to you, if you are running this team, if he hits 100 sooner than later, do you let him take a night off? No, just he has. We don't have playoffs. Let the fans enjoy Carlson like demolishing the league at least. <laughs> Please. Oh man, but yeah. I thought you were asking, are they going to trade him? Oh and no. That's... To that, I still say no. But like, you know, that that's for another. Yeah, that's a whole time. other. We have an Pandora off season box. to work on that. <laughs> that's a Pandora box right there. Oh man. So the Sharks win seven to two over the Desert Dogs. I think I've said that right. Uh, stick taps to uh, Capo Kakinen. You know, had I mean, with all the scoring, it kind of gets distracted by, you know, what. Uh, he he yeah. had a solid game. I mean, he had a, he needed a bounce back, and this was his bounce back. I I haven't liked Capo all year. I I th I think I mean goalies are so unpredictable. Let's be real here. He could come out next year and have a absolutely fabulous year. I just he hasn't been great this year. So this is a good game for him. Happy he got the win. Yeah, big time, big time, indeed. Now, now we got all the good news out of the way. Mm. Ooh, Barracuda. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's talk about the San Jose Barracuda. Who played for them tonight? <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. So we usually go 12 forwards, six defensemen. Yeah. No, yeah. Sometimes, normal. sometimes you go eleven forwards and seven defensemen. <laughs> no, because the Sharks keep calling up everybody and then some. <laughs> we're gonna go nine forwards, nine D. That's right, nine forwards, nine defensemen on this team. Yes. Guess how that worked out, folks. They didn't play defense. You see, you think when there's oh. nine defensemen on your team, you would play defense? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not no, because we had Rydell and Holloway playing forwards. I swear they need to send Shimmick down to play as a forward. Bob Boogner or anyone playing? Anyone remember that? Let's send Shimmick down, have him play like center. He can be like play with Robbins. Hey, Jim Vandermeer played forward in defense for the Sharks. There uh, you go. And of course, we have had Burns back in the day do both and we aren't going to start that conversation up because that's long gone. You know, have Carlson play forward while you're at it for the Kudo. You know, you know what? You know. You're absolutely right. What? You know, no! put him on waivers. <laughs> let's try that. Put him on waivers, get him through. Why? I mean, come on. Let's just, yeah. You know. Uh, no, they're, they're, I looked at their lineup today. It's like you have Cal Agazino, Co, Burke, Robbins, Wisebutt, and then a buttload of randoms, maybe except yeah. like, you know, like they they got demolished seven to two by a Texas team that's way far and done better than they are. The the only positive, and you're like Jules. There's a seven to after a seven two loss, you found a positive. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, Robbins has been on a heater. If another Sharks player goes down, Robbins is getting called up. Now, if you ask me, what are the yes. Cooter going to ice in that case? Don't know. Could not tell you. Don't want to know. We have. We might have breaking news on that, so be, stay tuned. Oh, that's yes. Terrible. Okay, no, but like Robbins has been on a heater. Um, I think in his last like five games, he has seven points. So if you guys want a bright side for the Cuda, Robin seems to be picking up the slack because all of his friends are gone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, if you look at the like the Barracuda's like starting lineup from like the start of the season to now, poof, Maron. You can ice a whole new lineup with the new guys they have. Yeah. Uh, just ridiculous. Uh, like some people in the chat right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me take care of that while uh, you... Um, I mean, Rob, I mean, Robin. Just keep an eye on Robin's and keep an eye on that whole 2020 draft class, y'all. Because that, that class is sneakily good. Um, I was on hockey prospecting, just like looking at like the Sharks prospects and stuff like that. That class is secretly good. Also, shout out to Henry Thrun. Um, the dude's going to be a player for us. Get excited for Thrun. You're, um, you're like, how? what did Anaheim see or not see? Well, here's the thing. Anaheim pulls out defensemen out of like a magic ribbon, like a, mag like a magic hat. Like they just have a hat and they can pull out defensemen. Um so like I'm not really surprised he's good. Like he he came from Anaheim. Anaheim's known for basically like spewing out defensemen like machines. Look at their prospect pool right now with defensemen. It's insane. Um, I really like Thrun. He's actually on hockey prospecting second odds to become a star other than Eklund. So him and Michael Fisher, because of course Michael Fisher, we all knew Michael Fisher. Um, so you know, get excited for Thrun. I really liked him. Uh, poor guy was. I'm just you know. Vlasic had a solid game, and I dissed him on the last podcast. Uh, he didn't lay a pickle, so thank you, Vlasic, for not doing that. Hey, Ta -da. Um, I'll leave now. But um, <laughs> yeah, solid game by everyone. Unfortunately, the Cooter are just injuries galore, and they don't have the depth right now to make up for it. Yeah, just a, a crazy one indeed. Uh, you know, it, <laughs> uh, and, and of course, we should mention Eklund. Had successful surgery yeah. on his labrum. Um, at Kaiser, you have to remember. Yes. Oh, yes. Kaiser. We got to make sure we get the sponsorship at, in. Hit the hit the sponsor right on the nail at Kaiser. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, listen. It sounds and like here the and the room yeah. number is at <laughs> the operating room number. Here you go. You know. Oh, I I get it. It's a sponsor no, yeah. and such and everything and. 
Oh man, really? Seattle loses again. Jesus. They are know. hit them and Win- Winnipeg all got off to like really hot starts and yeah. just fell off a cliff. Winnipeg beat Detroit at least. Um so yeah. There, there you go. Yeah. Uh Jim and FLA, did anyone hear about a Barabanov injury? Haven't heard anything just that he is not skating right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh so there's that and and at and let's be honest here, at this point. Do we really need him? Because we're just scoring no. goals like crazy. No, I mean, we also have a ton of young guns. Like, honestly, listen, we can all be upset the Sharks are winning games, but you have to be happy with the young guns and what you're seeing from them. Like, you have to. Like, the future is bright. Yeah. Um. You know, so just enjoy the young guns. Yeah. Laurel, I, I see you in there. Thank you very much for uh, taking care of the um, of the idiots in, in here. So um, appreciate that. Uh, Jerry F, I didn't get to your, your, uh, chat just because everything said to go chaos. $5 super chat. Thanks for an awesome show. Seal Town USA, Sharks for Life. Appreciate that. Go uh, Sharks. Uh, Jerry, I know you're in San Diego and I know that that city is just going nuts right now, uh, with their basketball, with their college basketball team. So, uh, hope yeah. you're having fun. Stay safe. I'm sure the gas uh light district is going off like crazy right now so um so there is that uh yes the we do now have confirmed uh reports that the sh- the barracuda have offered an ato to Uh, so we we see the footage there. Yours truly is, is been signed to an ATO with the Barracuda because at this point, why not? They need more signed. people who can't play defense. Right. Yeah. There you go. Right. You know. Slow moving, t- tough on the skates. You know. You know. It works. It, it's a tradition w- with wearing number fourteen. You know me, yeah. Chichu, uh, Weatherby. What you position know. do you play? Uh, I was usually on the wing, but at okay. this point, you know, you know, you might want to go in goal for them because, you know, they also don't have goaltending right now. Oh, boy. You All know, right. you're just going to have to play every position for them. You know. Yeah. So let's let's take a look at that beautiful footage again. Yeah, that that's me scoring a goal and high fiving Bernie Nichols at the at the 2006 fantasy camp, uh, <laughs> which is. It just happened. I, I have the jersey here today. You know, you can buy it. But that was an awesome experience. <laughs> I got to say, from 17 years ago. Holy fudge. Oh, gosh. So if you if you need me, if you need me, Barracuda, I'm willing to help out. I was going to, you know, um, you know, just go to Barracuda Fan Appreciation Night. But, you know. At this point, why not? You know. Yeah. At this point, I think Kuda are accepting anyone who can skate to play for them. Um, yeah. Th- they somehow just have more defensemen right now than forwards. I don't know if anyone else has processed that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're an injury or two away from that being very much so a reality. And I, I, I think the Kuda playoff hopes are long gone. Yeah, it doesn't look good for them right now. So, like, honestly, please call up Robbins. See what that guy can bring you. Bring yeah. down Chris Golo. I love Chris Golo, but I genuinely just want to see Robbins. Why not give another NHL debut to one of your younger stars? Right. Um, you know, call up Robbins. See what you have. Give me Shakir. Let's see what he can bring you. You have nothing to lose, Sharks. Yeah. The only thing that they're going to have to worry about is the amount of actual call-ups as opposed to yeah. emergency loans. I should probably look at that. I think Gushin was an emergency loan because so. everyone got injured for the Sharks all at once. Ain't that the truth? Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, according to Cat Friendly, where are we here? Uh, where Where are they showing here? Why am I seeing? Okay, here we go. Uh, Peterson is an emergency loan. Gushin is an emergency loan. Chris Quello is an emergency oh, loan. Vl is an emergency loan. Uh, so, 
<laughs> the Sharks just got bombarded with injury. I mean, there's not much you can do at that point. Like, just be happy the kids are producing in the NHL. Yeah, and so. uh, Cunning, uh, because of I that. I forgot Cunning played for this team. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just went on LTIR to make room so they could bring in Chris Quillo and Gushin. Because otherwise they would have been over the cap. Didn't we give up a third round pick for this Luke Cunnan dude? I want to say yes. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> Doug Wilson was like, here's a draft pick. Here's a draft pick. Here's a draft pick. Yeah. Uh, why am I not seeing this? We really, we really, I think, did. And that was so unfortunate for us. Um. Well, that, that wasn't even Doug. That was that was one of Mike that Greer was, signings. Uh, wait, that was Mike Greer? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm it, sorry. It signed a two-year, $5.5 million contract. On, uh... Yeah, I just forgot Luke Cunnan played for us. Um, I know he was out with injury or um, with a torn ACL, I believe. But like, I just forgot the man played for us. Yeah, he was traded. Um, I believe it was... Uh, um, at the draft, right? July 8th, he was traded yeah. for John Leonard. Oh, was, okay, yeah, it was that deal. Yeah, oh, I forgot yeah. that man played for us. So, um, yeah, I mean, this game was a doozy. Uh, yeah, and so <laughs> Carlson yeah. is going to reach a hundred points. Um, I mean, just enjoy Carlson demolishing the NHL. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Carlson dishing to Gushin, right, and then right. McDonald somehow got on there. But you know, Carlson dishing to Gushin was nice to see. Gushin's shot is looks lethal. I cannot wait. <laughs> Tiger saying R.I.P. Cunning Grit Lord. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sleepy Mofo longest win streak of the season. Yes, three games. Yeah. They did it earlier in November. Uh, for Do I that... hear four? Do I hear oh, four? Please no. <laughs> oh please no. Um, uh, Jerry F. Cout is feeling like a redemption from the Ryan Merkley debacle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, upset been... with that trade as of now. Kout's looking good. Um, he looks like a solid player. I have to Greer, give Greer credit. He keeps on finding diamonds in the rough. Yeah, so... not, not exactly the uh, type of guys you might per se be looking for, but he's found guys that have been working. I mean, I mean Chris yeah. Polo's been like, I been a great pickup for the Cuda. I hope Chris Koloske stays for next year when the Cuda actually are like hopefully have a little bit more depth coming in. I don't know who they have coming in. Maybe Ethan Cardwell can help them out next year. Um, you know, so hopefully the Cuda are better next year. And hopefully the Sharks are, but I really doubt it. I don't oh, I don't hope. think they'll be good, yeah, next year either. So yeah. sorry guys. Yeah. Uh John Swenson Puck, I got to skate SAP twice, try to gain speed in the corner, hit a rut and slammed into the boards. Next time up, one of the Sharks guys told me to take it easy. Exact same thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, mm. that's that's not good. Uh, yeah. Ayo, a- a- what are they retiring? Puck guys never had to see you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, they should. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, they should. They should. <clears throat> uh, Eric, famous for snoring at the blue line. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you haven't been on our Discord. Ask Hockey Jerk for the link. There, uh... Another uh, Nick Cooper super chat donation. Uh, call me crazy, but my favorite rookie call up is still Cout. He's got sneaky speed and four checks. Well, Goosh has the best shot though. Oh yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. That that first goal was just an absolute snipe. Goosh has the best shot in the prospect pool by far. Just an elite sniper. I can't, that man is a steal and a half. Good job, Doug yeah. Wilson Jr. Absolutely. Um, Carlson, just call me EK100. Yep, we've been doing that up on the uh, scroll for sure. Yeah, EK100. Yeah. He's going to get there. Like, there's no. I think people need to stop. At, it's just a matter of when. It's like with Ovechkin and the Gretzky record. It's not a matter of like if he's going to do it. It's when he's going to do it. Right, right, and yeah, you know, <laughs> JF saying and F and age and Carlson more F and AJ. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, this has been an interesting night, um, to say the least. Uh, the Sharks currently have the fourth best or mm-hmm. fourth best odds. Should we run it three times? 
I'm scared, but sure. All right. Let's go for let's, it. Let's see what we can do here, folks. Uh, San Jose, you're right now at number four. Let's see what we can do here. All right. First run, we got Anaheim going number two. Sharks stay, or Anaheim mm. kicking first, and San Jose stays the same. Yeah. Okay. Don't number like two. Nope. The Sharks go down one again as Montreal That's gets the pick. That's a nightmare. Yeah. And then one more time. Hey, there we go. All right. Not All upset right. about that one. All right. 25% yeah. chance again. Woohoo. Or no. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. That's, yeah. I mean, uh, we'll see what happens. Let's yeah. just pray the Sharks can finish third or second in the odds. Like, I'm not asking for first anymore because I think they blew that. But, like, third or second would be solid. Yeah. Or at least top four or five in that, in that sense. So. Yeah. So, yep. That will pretty much put a capper on to this one uh of course in case you missed anything or you want to watch this again uh check us out oh front one, there you go uh on tealtownusa.com or your favorite podcatcher or apple google Podcasts, youtube soundcloud spotify tune in iheart radio odyssey and now on amazon music of course, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, please hit that like button. Of course, smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That'll notify you when we do go on after every single game, home and away. And of course, leave a comment down below. Tell us, what did you think of this? Do you have any inkling that the Sharks could have the first overall pick uh, anymore? Could it be any else so what are you looking for you saw three players with their first uh goals uh, as a san jose shark let's also put the credit to noah gregor scoring hat -trick. hat trick you know uh they're showing it on nhl network right now in his first 46 games noah gregor four goals three assists seven points in his last five games four goals three assists seven points you know timo meyer leaving that's what i saw on twitter <laughs> <laughs> from jd thank you jd for that yes jd all the best to you my friend you, you poor thing he, he's been he's been sad he can't put the team of time gif on there so uh all right with that i'm at puck 14 on the twitter and the instagram she is at sharks underscore jewels thank you as always uh your final thoughts and sharks don't final? don't win another game that's all I have to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and Nick Cooper saying, I'm good with Fantilli or Carlson. And AO saying, at this point, I don't even care. I just want the season to be over. <laughs> Valid. All right. We will be back with you tomorrow or Sunday for that matter because, you know, Ian's already in, in the future and Sunday and such on the East Coast. Uh, Sunday night, 7 p.m., Pucknologist will break down a th Three and a week. What? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> when was that allowed? Oh boy! And then, of course, we will be back with you on Tuesday night. Sharks and Avalanche will play a set of back-to-backs in How San Jose. Are getting? Oh. Six. There you go. Nice. Uh, wishful thinking there uh, if he was even on my fantasy team for that matter all right so jules thank you as always uh, thank you everyone for watching and until sunday night for technologists tuesday night for after dark keep it real keep it teal keep it real teal have a great night everyone we will see you on sunday night and tuesday night